What's up everyone? Welcome to this week's episode. I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to have a first impressions of the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Air Comforts in the Olive Aura colorway. I'm super excited about this because I did tease this in a previous video and they are finally here. So let's get into it. <laughs> If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Jess and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers and lifestyle products. So if you like that kind of stuff, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get notified every single time I post a new video. It helps me out a lot. And also welcome back to those who are returning. I appreciate your support. And also always link below is my blog. So if you like written content better than video or you like both, then you can always find that in the description below. So let's get into it. Today we're going to have a look at the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Air Comfort in the Olive Aura colorway. I'm already loving the color of this box here. So this is a your typical Nike box, but it comes in this like cardboard color um, and just very simple Nike logo and branding at the top nothing underneath the lid and wow look look at this this is what the inside of the box looks like i should have told you but uh, this is the white gray heather olive aura colorway and this was a women's exclusive as well which i was really stoked about so first off you don't really get this in your typical Air Jordan 1s. So let's have a look at what this is. So it just has the Air Jordan wing logo. And on the back it says Air Jordan 1 Zoom Air Comfort. And it kind of tells you the features of it, which is pretty cool. I'll read it kind of quickly. Uh, designed in Beaverton, Oregon. Re-engineered for ultimate comfort. The collar is made of two free floating foam panels for a more relaxed fit. Foam pods under perforated lining in both the tongue and collar for added comfort around the ankle. And then kind of shows you uh, some of the features. So let's see if I can show you this. Just pretty cool that they have this in there as well. I think that's awesome because I think most people will probably think that this and the Jordan ones are kind of the same, but they're not. I'm just gonna quickly take this out of the bag. I don't wanna make too much noise. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So each sneaker was actually wrapped in this like wax-like parchment paper. I'm not really sure what the significance of that is, but it's kind of cool that it's something different. And here's the actual sneaker itself. It's actually really, really nice. The materials feel very high quality. There's a lot going on here. So I may do, I don't know if I'll do like a detailed video on this sneaker, but I definitely will be comparing this to a regular like Air Jordan 1 High. But already I'm already loving this. The bottom is a little different with the two tones here. Um... There's a lot of materials going on and this foam piece here gives off that, you know, off whitish look. Rest in peace to Virgil Abloh. And then here it says zoom on the sneaker. And it's the same on, on both sides. Uh, the left side does not have that zoom tag that I just showed you, but first impressions are pretty positive. It's very different from your traditional Air Jordan 1 High. Like, look at the inside here. Has all that foam going on, the double foam layer. And the materials, there's just a lot going on here. I don't know what the traditional materials are for a Air Jordan uh, 1 Zoom Comfort Air. <laughs> it's a mouthful. But I'm going to definitely put these on feet just to see what my first impressions are and let you know what I think. So I just wore these sneakers around the house for a few minutes and I will say this has been a positive experience. The hype around the comfort of the sneaker is definitely worth it. And where I felt the most comfort is actually around the ankle here where there's a lot of foam padding happening and I really, really felt it 
around my ankle and it feels really supportive which is really nice and also I will say that they don't feel as stiff as your typical Air Jordan 1s. I find that my Air Jordan 1s are pretty stiff but maybe it's the materials that they're using on here but so far so good. I really enjoy it and I can't wait to wear this on a daily. Beautiful colors, beautiful color combination. The camera does not do it justice. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the first impressions of this sneaker right here. I'm gonna wear these for a little bit and then do a detailed review on my blog, which is always linked below. You can even put in your email on my blog and get notifications just like you would for post notifications, but this is written content. So if you like that, then please consider doing that. And I will be doing a detailed video between this shoe compared to a regular Air Jordan 1 High and show you kind of the differences. Cause I know a lot of people don't know what the differences are. I mean, I didn't before I researched and bought this pair, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will catch you in the next one. Peace, bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.